Akane Takeyama is a Japanese contemporary artist who has lived and worked in England for the last 40 years. She is primarily a sculptor who takes the perspective of an outsider asking questions of our world today. She belongs to no clan, no tribe, no group. She is an individual person expressing her voice in art. We are going to look at her sculpture series based on Kiki de Montparnasse. Before we do, we shall consider Takeyama's approach to contemporary sculpture and provide a context for the viewing of the Kiki series. In Takeyama's art, there are many layers. There are always many layers. This stratification of ideas and concepts exists from the moment each work is conceived and continues on to encompass the audience within its folds. Nothing is accidental. Nothing is random. All elements are a precisely structured synchromesh of purpose. Colour, position, material, relationships, photography and even audience are constructed with an absolute intent to speak to an issue. Only words are absent, and all there is of dialogue is contained within thoughts prompted by seemingly simple visions. Takeyama creates powerful discussions from sculptures which stand in plain sight, leaving the audience to see through the camouflage and decode the layers In order to articulate meaning, Takeyama employs a vocabulary throughout her work. There are standard motifs which identify concepts. The materials in each piece form part of the lexicon of meaning. The image always carries symbolism. As an artist, she makes persistent demands of her art to be relevant, to be engaged, and to have a point to make. Takeyama does not believe in the casual or the ill-disciplined in anything she does. All of her art has history and purpose. That is why she is such a valuable artist of our time. Kiki the motif of female independence. The use of stone, the construction of plastics, the artefacts, all familiar tones in her artistic language.
For Takeyama, the story of Kiki is one of constantly being the subject of an ugly male hypocrisy, which she overcame by shamelessly manipulating men. Judgment of her work was almost always contextualised by male ideals of what a woman should be and what a woman shouldn't be. Whilst it was perfectly acceptable for men to desire and lech after the body and flesh of a beautiful woman, that woman would always receive public disdain and be seen to have her morals questioned in a way men avoid. Kiki de Montparnasse, Alice Ernestine Prynne, was an artist, muse and creative woman who lived within the shadow of male patriarchy. Kiki was no wilting flower and she was not one to be told how to be or how to act. She valued and protected her own individual freedoms. For Takeyama, using Kiki as a motif creates the perfect crowbar to smash open the glass ceiling from above which men still look down on women today. Finally, Takeyama tells us that Kiki remains as unattainable today as she was in her lifetime 